Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how I make my keto slash low carb pancakes. Um, me and my family have been doing keto slash low carb for a while now. And me and my mom have lost about 20 pounds. My dad's lost about like 50, I think. And we're going strong. Like I actually really enjoy the diet. There's still times when it's hard because for those of you that don't know what keto is, it's no carbs or very low carbs. So that means sugar, pasta, bread, all those things and high fat. So we've been doing it pretty good. It is hard sometimes. I'm not super strict. Like I definitely cheat every now and then. Like if I'm at a dinner, I try not to cheat all the time, but if I'm at a dinner and I just have to have like a bite of cake or something, I will have a bite of cake. I have such a bad sweet tooth. But anyways, I want to start showing you guys some of my recipes and the number one thing my mom and I miss a lot. I'm not, she misses it the most, but I'm not gonna say I miss it the most, but we're some good pancakes. We had tried so many different mixes and like trying them from scratch and they just weren't right. But this recipe, I promise you guys, is like the exact thing. It is so good. So let's get started. So the pancake mix I use is a Swerve Sweets one. They make like some brownie mix, cookie mix, all that stuff. This is the only one I've tried. And like I said, it's the best one you can find. You're gonna need obviously the mix. It says milk, but I substituted it for heavy cream. One to cut down on carbs and to add fat, but also because I never have milk in my house because of keto, you're not supposed to have milk. Well, you can, but it has carbs in it. So anyways, egg, milk, oil. I have avocado oil and an egg here. So I'm gonna use a half cup of mix. And a half cup is supposed to make four pancakes. This will make you like, I don't know, 10. I make a ton of pancakes with this. I'm gonna add my egg and you need one teaspoon of oil. And then you're supposed to do three tablespoons of milk. So I'm gonna do like um, one and a half of heavy cream probably. And then do like one and a half water. So you can let this sit for a couple minutes to thicken up. Mine is like at a pretty good consistency right now, but I'm gonna let it sit for just a couple minutes to thicken. So I'm gonna put it at a medium heat. Add some oil. It's good to have a little extra oil as opposed to too little because these do stick a little more than normal pancakes. It's like to kind of like spread it really quick. All right guys, so here is my batter now. It's a little bit thicker. I'm gonna add Oh, I don't know, about that much. Like maybe two or three tablespoons worth. So one thing I can't live without are chocolate chips in my pancakes. These are Lily's dark chocolate. These ones have one gram of carbs for 60 chocolate chips. So if you take your, let's see, can you guys see this? Take your total carbs, which is eight, you minus your fiber, which is four, and your erythritol, because that is a sugar substitute. So you're down to one, and then there's less than one gram of car, uh, sugar. But anyways, for 60 chips, it's only one gram of carbs. So I like to sprinkle a couple of these in. So I am just about to flip it. You can see that there's some bubbles forming just like normal pancakes. And I actually like to let them like cook a little bit longer because sometimes they're hard to flip. Oh man, that would've been a perfect one too. And voila. So I am a super big sweet tooth person. I take some baking cocoa and some um, sugar replacement, but this is the like powdered sugar version, the confectioners. So I do that and then I mix it in here. So I have chocolate pancakes and then I add chocolate chips when I like cook them. So I add just like a spoonful or I don't know. I don't add too much cause it is pretty potent. And this is supposed to be like the creme de la creme of cocoa powders. So I'm doing like a tablespoon of powdered sugar. And then adding some more water. So finding the right maple syrup has also been a struggle. I have tried all three of these. This one we obviously have used a lot of it. You can just find it at like Walmart and stuff. It's pretty good. I like it. It's not as thick. That's what I miss with all of these about real maple syrup. This one is a no for me. It is like sugar water. Like literally, do you see how runny that is? 
it didn't seem to do anything for me. This is the one we like the most. My mom got it on Amazon. It is the Allulose Natural Maple Clear Syrup. It's a little bit thicker and it actually tastes like maple, has real maple, and it hardly has any carbs in it. It's 0.32 net carbs per or teaspoon. So this is my winner. And I like to shake this sometimes. It gets like sugary granule at the bottom and I just go for it. I like a ton of syrup. I like it on my bacon. So here is my breakfast. This is Costco bacon, which I love. And then I did three pancakes. I'm gonna total up the net carbs and stuff. I like half count these days. But anyways, this is honestly a really big meal for me ever since being on keto. I really don't eat much at all. Like I will probably eat like two pancakes and a piece of bacon, but I always make way too many pancakes and then I just save whatever I don't eat. But there we go. I hope you guys like this video. If you want to see more keto recipes, let me know. Or if you just want to know more about keto, I'm not super strict. So like, don't come at me, but I love cooking. I found so many good recipes and honestly, keto, keto is probably the easiest diet anyone could be on. Like it's hard to avoid bread and stuff, but you can make so much at home that is so good. And honestly, like it's basically a cheese diet. Like who doesn't want to eat cheese all the time, right? Am I right? Who's with me? Anyways, comment down below if you are also on keto or you want to start and if you have any great recipes or if there's anything you want me to make, like, let me know. I have some good, like, I, I have this fried rice. <sighs> so good. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.